Today, friends and family attended the final funerals for four teens killed in an accident near Dubuque. The boys were riding in a Gator utility vehicle when the driver of a truck failed to stop at a stop sign and crashed into them. The crash happened near Epworth last Saturday. The funerals of Bryce Wilworth and Sean Keneally were held yesterday. Mitchell Kleesner and Nicholas Kramer were laid to rest today. And it was a company owned by local monks that played a very important role in helping prepare the teens' final resting spots. There isn't a step here. When they're nice and smooth, I feel really good about my work. Without meaning. When I'm sanding, I pray for the person that's going to be in this casket. Connie Mander sands each and every one of them. It just gives you a real sense of accomplishment when you can go to a wake and you know the family. She helped complete the caskets of four teens killed in a crash near Epworth. Bryce Wilwert, Mitchell Kleesner, Nicholas Kramer, and Sean Keneally. She knew the Keneally family well. I knew the great-grandparents, I knew the grandparents, and I knew the parents. And they were all wonderful people. At Trappist Caskets, owned by the monks of New Melloray Abbey in Piasta, the surrounding community is family. I'm sorry they died, and uh, I pray every day for the young man that was driving the pickup truck that hit him. His family sits four or five pews behind us. We know them. It's a tragedy, and I don't know any other way to put it. Together, they've created something to ease the burden. They thought it was simply amazing. Each of the teens' families received a free casket from the Monk's Child Casket Fund. The group donates caskets all over the U.S. to families in need. It's something Connie just gets. Nine years ago, I sanded our son's casket. Dennis lost a grandson. Marjorie lost a brother. The pain that I saw in, in the parents' faces, it was a flashback to, I remember my parents, what they went through. Workers say being here, creating for the dead, helps them keep living. And I always say when they put me in one of these and nail the lid shut, then I'm going to retire. Because meaning comes in steps of healing. The Child Casket Fund creates about four caskets a week for families in need. They receive donations from all over the U.S. to make their work possible.